Okay, section 7.3. The goals for this lesson is you should be able to add and subtract radical expressions, multiply binomial radical expressions, and rationalize binomial radical denominators using conjugates. The first thing we're going to talk about is adding and subtracting rational expressions, and that begins with like radicals. Like radicals are similar to like terms. We have a radical that has the same index, which is that little number inside, and the same radicand, then we have a like radical. For example, if I have 2 square root of 5, and I have 4 square root of 5. Those are like radicals because they have the same index. In this case, we're getting the square root of both of them, and they have the same radicand. And in this case, 5 is the only thing inside. <clears throat> Similarly, I could say 9 cube root of 29 and 4 cube root of 29 are like radicals because they have the same index and the same radicand. I could take something that looks almost similar, 2 square root of 2 and 2 cube root of 2. Those are not. Because they don't have the same index, if this one was to the third power, then they are not like radicals. And in order to add and subtract like radicals, or in order to add and subtract radicals, you must have like radicals. Just like needing common denominators. And you can treat these radicals the same way you would treat variables in some cases. So our first example says 5 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 2. I could treat that just like if I had 5x plus 4x. And in that case, they have the same variable, so they're like terms, and it's to the same power. So I can just add the coefficients, and 5 plus 4 gives me 9x. So in this example, they both have the same index, which is we're getting the square root of both. And they have the same radicand, because they both have 2 inside. So that means I'm just adding the coefficients. So 5 plus 4 is 9 root 2. In example 2, again, I look. Do they have the same index? Yes, they're both cubic cube root. Do they have the same radicand? Yes, they both have just x to the first power inside. So I can just do the operation and look at the coefficients. 6 minus 4 is 2, and then I keep the cube root of x. Coming to number 3, I have square root here, but in our second part, I have a cube root. Those are not like terms, so we cannot add or subtract them. So 3 root 2 plus 3 cube root 2 stays as is. We cannot do anything else with it. In example 4, we look and we see that they have the same index. They're both the square root. But the first term has a square root of 3, and the second term has a square root of 12. But before we determine whether or not they're like radicals, we have to see if they've both been simplified. Square root of 3 is simplified, but the square root of 12 isn't. So we need to look and see if there are any roots we can pull out, any perfect squares. And in this case, 12 can be broken up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And we can get a perfect square out of 4. So I'm going to bring down my 6 root 3 and my plus, and now I'm adding it to these terms. But now I'm going to go to the next line. I can get the square root of 4. So I'm going to bring down 6 root 3 plus the square root of 4 is 2 multiplied by root 3 makes it 2 root 3. Now we have taken the original problem, simplified it, and now we have same index and same radicand. So we can add those up just by looking at the coefficients. 6 plus 2 is 8. So our final answer would be 8 root 3. Example 5. Again, they look different. They have the same index but different radicands. But 8 can be broken down into the root of 4 times the root of 2. I'm going to bring the rest of the problem down with it. 
so that I don't forget anything. And again, I can get the square root of 4. So I'm going to bring down 4 root 2 plus 3. And 3 in front of the root 8 meant 3 times root 8. So 3 is multiplying by this. So if the root of 4 is 2, I'm going to put 2 in parentheses so that I remember to multiply it. And then I'm just going to bring down my root 2. So all I did here was turn the root of 4 into 2. Now I'm going to multiply according to order of operations. I should multiply before adding. So the 4 root 2 comes down plus 3 times 2 is 6. And I bring down the root 2. Now once again I have my like radicals so I can combine them. 4 root 2 plus 6 root 2 equals 10 root 2.